it's Kirby. Welcome to my channel. Today is another a dupe video because we are doing them all month long. It is the most expensive time of the year for me because none of these videos are sponsored and I have purchased all of this makeup on my own. Also, new hair. How are we feeling? Let me know in the comment section. But in today's video, we are putting e.l.f. Cosmetics up against Tatcha. So, e.l.f. Cosmetics has the Poreless Putty Primer, and it is supposed to be an exact dupe for the Tatcha The Silk Canvas Filter Finish Protective Primer. Um, this dupe has been all over Instagram, all over YouTube. I think Jeffree Star's video of this has like 4 million views. Do you think my video could get 4 million views? <laughs> So we are putting it to the test today. I'm not going to lie, it was very difficult for me to find the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I ended up finding it at Walmart. Not every carrier of e.l.f. Cosmetics holds the Poreless Putty Primer, and since the dupe has gone viral, uh, they have a very hard time keeping it in stock online. But I will link both of these products in the description box. Let's get right into it. Here's the packaging for both. e.l.f. has their own branding so they don't often like inspire any packaging from any brand that there may be a dupe. The e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer for price $8. For $8 you get 0.74 ounces or 21 grams. Uh, the Tatcha Silk Canvas the full size is $52. For 0.7 ounces or 20 grams, this little one is $22 for 0.24 ounces or 7 grams. So the little one is a $14 savings, but you're getting triple the product in the e.l.f. And then for the large sized one, it is almost the exact same size product, but you're saving $44. Ah! So let's open these up. So here is the outside packaging to both of them. The Tatcha is obviously a little bit more luxurious um, than the e.l.f., but it is what it is. They look the exact same. The product is the same color. I will say the Tatcha Silk Canvas has a little bit of a scent. It's like a lemony, citrusy scent. But I'm not getting any scent off of the Poreless Putty from e.l.f. Cosmetics. So Tatcha has a little scent, Poreless Putty has none, they look the exact same. Uh, let's see what they both boast. We'll start, this is just off of the box too. Uh, this is what the Tatcha Silk Canvas boasts. For all skin types, a velvety smoothing balm of pressed silk that primes and makes makeup last longer while keeping it out of skin, helping to prevent clogged pores and breakouts. To use Dot a rice grain amount of f on face with fingertips and massage into skin suitable for, for, suitable for face, eyes, and lips. Alright. The e.l.f. Poreless Putty boasts this, perfe this perfecting putty primer smooths the skin and preps it with sequalan to help moisturize and grip makeup for all day wear, the velvety texture glides over the skin, smoothing over imperfections for a poreless effect. Directions, apply a thin amount uh, to moisturize skin to prepare makeup application. Allow to sit for 30 seconds before applying foundation. Okay, uh, I have no clue what sequalane is. Sequalin? Sequalin? I have no clue what that is, uh, but I was looking at some of the ingredients, and they do have quite a few that match up. Um, both of these have dimethicone in it, so these are going to give you that, like, poreless, silky, silicone-y feeling. Uh, so, to do the test, we're going to do the e.l.f. Cosmetics Putty Primer on this side, and the Tatcha Silk Canvas on this side. I like to use in, if you... If you're new to the April Fool's dupe series, first, hello. Second, I like to use the products side by side because I think that is how you get the best know-how or the best view of if they actually are dupes or not because if they perform the same and you can't tell that you're wearing two different products, then we're good to go. Alright, so let's start. I might have used too much. That was... 
more than a rice grain amount <laughs> per Tatcha's instructions. So now we're going to let it sit for 30 seconds per uh, Poreless Putty Primer's instructions. Um, I will say in this 30 seconds that prior, a lot of e.l.f. Cosmetics primers have not jived well with my skin in the past. I do not use a lot of their primers um, only because they do not leave a wonderful finish to my face. I don't know if that's just like my skin type, my skin texture, the ingredients, the quality. I'm not really quite sure. But letting you know ahead of time, that's where I stand with e.l.f. primers. So they both kind of scooped out the same. I took the, I tried to take the same amount from both. The only difference that I'm really noticing currently is that the Tatcha has a little bit of a scent to it. Other than that, I don't even have a... This mirror. Other than that, I'm not noticing too much of a difference. Um, they both apply to the skin really nice. Both sides of my face look the same and they feel the same. So I will be interested to see to see how they uh, both feel with uh, foundation. I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution, what is this? Fast Base Stick Foundation in F2, only because this foundation I've really been enjoying how it makes my skin look and feel. Beauty sponge. Different side of the beauty sponge for the other side. Alright, some initial thoughts. Both sides of my skin look the same to me. They both have that like poreless, primed look. I'm not noticing too much of an interaction, my bangs are weird, I'm not noticing too much of an interaction with the foundation itself. Neither side is like looking terrible. We're going to go, I'm going to go finish the face off, uh, off camera and then we'll come back for some final thoughts but like honestly. For a $44 savings, if you can get your hands on the Poreless Putty Primer, it's looking like, it's looking like an exact dupe so far. Alright, so I'm going to finish the face and then we will be back for final thoughts. Okay guys, so I did a quick face off camera. It's 9pm. I am not going anywhere, so I did not put a lot of effort into this look. However, I definitely would wear this out. Like... Yes. In the end, the Tatcha versus the Elf Cosmetics face off. Silk Canvas versus Poreless Putty Primer. Honestly, I can tell no difference whatsoever. Um, as I stated before in the video, Elf primers usually do not jive well with my skin. However, the Poreless Putty Primer is giving me like major life right now. Both of them are. Um, I wouldn't say that they give me a completely flawless, poreless finish. Neither of them do, um, which is kind of strange because that's what like they both say that they do. However, it gives a nice like texture to my skin, especially like I'm looking in like this area, like where I have the most pores, blackheads, clogged, whatever you want to call it. I'm looking like in this area and honestly the interaction with foundation, sponges, powders, brushes, I'm not noticing like bad interactions, I'm not noticing irritation, I'm not noticing any issues with the primers or my skin itself and so I'm going to say that this is a 100% dupe, neither like Nothing felt more luxurious than the other. The only difference that I truly noticed in application everything was that the Tatcha has a little bit of a scent to it. That's the only difference. They both applied the same. They both have the same texture. They both have like the same everything. So e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, $8. Tatcha Silk Canvas Full Size, $52. $44 savings, people. Uh, if you can get your hands on the e.l.f. Putty Poreless Putty Primer, 
I would highly, highly recommend it, especially going into summer. I feel like this slash these, because I will use this since I own it now, are going to be like a very good summer primer to kind of prep the skin and give it that like tackiness for all day wear and not having to worry about like sweating and it wearing off and things like that. Like definitely the poreless putty primer. I'm excited about it. So, I will link these products in the description box below as well as most, if not all, of the products that I used on my face. So you can check them out on your own time. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Do you like dupes? Do you not like dupes? Do you have a dupe that I should check out? Always looking for recommendations. Let's start a conversation in the comment section. As always, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out on another review, dupe, or tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, guys.